Hello and welcome to Eerie, where we today take a look at some scary and unsolved mysteries. Number 1. Living Statues From 1917 to 1928, Half a million people were afflicted with a ghastly condition that could be part of the plotline of a horror film. The victims, very much alive and conscious, found themselves in frozen states, their static bodies prisons for their minds. Encephalitis lethargisa, E.L., aka the sleeping sickness, first appeared in Europe and quickly spread around the world, reaching epidemic levels in North America, Europe and India by 1919. About a third of those stricken with the illness died. Of the survivors, nearly half eventually found themselves unable to physically interact with the world around them, all the while fully aware of their surroundings, though occasionally capable of limited speech, eye motion and even laughter, they generally appeared as living statues, totally motionless for hours, days, weeks or years. The cause is unknown, but one theory is brain inflammation triggered by a rare strain of Staphylococcus, the bacteria responsible for many sore throats each year. Science's best guess is that the bacteria mutated, provoking the immune system to attack the brain, leaving the victim helpless. None of this explains why the illness disappeared only to resurface sporadically, be it in Europe in the 1950s or in China 10 years ago when a 12-year-old girl was hospitalized for five weeks with the disease. Are such occurrences the new normal, or are there signs that EL could be planning something bigger any day? A 2004 analysis of 20 patients with symptoms remarkably similar to EL concluded that whatever ailed them is still prevalent. As such, history's so-called sleeping sickness remains the stuff of nightmares. Number 2 sickening noises. In December 2016, a CIA officer checked into American Embassy's health office in Havana, suffering from nausea, headache and dizziness. Days later, two more CIA officers reported similar ailments. By late 2018, the number grew to 26 Americans and 13 Canadians experiencing nausea, hearing loss, vertigo, nosebleeds and focusing issues. In all the cases, Victims claimed that the symptoms were triggered by a strange noise they heard at their homes or hotel rooms. One person said the noise was high-pitched, another described a beam of sound pointed into the rooms. Some insisted that the noise more closely resembled marbles rolling along the floor. The illnesses confounded medical experts. Doctors at the University of Pennsylvania who examined some of the victims diagnosed concussion-like symptoms but found no signs they suffered concussions. We know what you must be thinking. The Cuban government is up to something, right? The Cubans deny they were responsible and many Americans investigators believe them. That's because they still don't know who or what made the victim sick. Was it a new type of weapon? The CIA claims it doesn't know of any weaponry that could cause those symptoms. What about ultrasound? One theory holds that a pair of covered eavesdropping devices placed too close to each other by Cuban agents may have inadvertently produced such a reaction. Like the kind of feedback you hear when someone stands too close to a microphone. But the FBI has found no evidence to substantiate their argument. In fact, ultrasound is above the range of human hearing. Recordings of the sound from some of the victims only added to the confusion. Diplomats are warned that there will be surveillance, there will be listening devices in your house, probably in your car. For some people, that puts them in a high stress mentality, in a threat anticipation mode. True, but then how to explain what happened in China? While the seemingly airborne cause of these brain injuries is still a mystery, the fallout is clear. The Americans removed 60% of their diplomats from Cuba and expelled 15 Cuban diplomats from Washington DC. The mysterious sounds may well be the opening shots in a new kind of cold war. Number 3. The Incident at Dyatlo Pass On the first night of February 1959, 
Nine skyhawkers died mysteriously in the mountains of what is now Russia. The night of the incident, the group had set up camp on a slope, enjoyed dinner and prepared for sleep. But something went catastrophically wrong because the group never returned. On February 26, searchers found the hikers' abandoned tent, which had been ripped open from the inside. Surrounding the area were footprints left by the group, some wearing socks, some wearing a single shoe, some barefoot, all of which continued to the edge of a nearby wood. That's where the first two bodies were found, shoeless and wearing only underwear. The scene bore marks of death by hypothermia, but as medical examiners inventoried the bodies, as well as the other seven that were discovered over the months that followed, hypothermia no longer made sense. In fact, the evidence made no sense at all. One body had evidence of a blunt force trauma consistent with a brutal assault, another had third degree burns, one had been vomiting blood, one was missing a tongue, and some of the clothing was found to be radioactive. Theories floated include KGB interference, drug overdose, UFO, gravity anomalies, and the Russian version of the Yeti. The only consensus remains that whatever happened involved an overwhelming and possibly inhuman force. Number 4. The murder of Arliss Perry That fall night in Palo Alto, Arliss Perry was just 19 and married to Bruce Perry, whom she met in high school. Bruce was a sophomore at Stanford, Arliss a receptionist. The story of that night, October 12, 1974, goes from merely odd to a surreal nightmare. Bruce said they had argued, then Arliss left, saying she wanted to pray alone at Stanford Memorial Church. In the middle of the night, a worried Bruce called the police to report that Arliss hadn't come home and told them where she was. But when they checked, the church was locked and everything looked fine. A few hours later, a security guard entered the church and found Arliss on the floor, not far from the altar. She laid on her back, a five inch long ice pick jutting from her head. She had been strangled, a large candle lay on her chest, she was nude from her waist down, and a second candle had been inserted in her uh, privates. Of the people who were in and out of the church that night, one was never identified, and the resemblance between that unknown man and the strange visitor to Alice's workplace on October 11th was significant. Bruce Perry was quickly ruled out, while no less than son of Sam serial killer David Berkovich claimed that some kind of knowledge of the case, investigators concluded he had no involvement. Theories have frequently included some kind of satanic ritual, which in this case sounds logical. A religious group with tentative links to Charles Manson was considered as well, but no one knows what really happened that night, say that it was the stuff of horror films. Number 5. The Snapchat Murders on February 13, 2017, Liberty, Libby German, age 14, and her 13-year-old friend Abigail Williams managed to photograph and record the voice of her killer. Yet over a year after the double homicide in Delphi, Indiana, the case remains unsolved. The girls were on the Delphi historic trails, doing what 8th graders do, snapping pics, posting them on social media. At some point, they must have noticed a heavy-set man nearby. Libby had the presence of mind to take his photo. His head was bent, he was wearing a cap, walking with his hands in his pockets. Once he was close enough, German called one more clue. A man's voice, tone flat, sang down the hill. Sometime after that, she and Abigail were murdered. Police have released very little about the investigation. They have said that they have DNA and more than once indicated they felt very close to solving the mystery. Daniel Nations, a man arrested in Colorado, has been mentioned as a person of interest, but has never been arrested. What's left of March 2018 are just the threads of a mystery that seems so close to a solution, but it isn't there. At least, unlike many of these cases, there's still plenty of time to figure it out. So that was 5 unsolved mysteries. What freaked you out the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for all the support. If you would like to support me further, you can do so on my Patreon. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.